Kelly, here he goes again. Checking out another left hand option. Off the bottom, going for a flyaway, backside air reversal, land prone and get back up. When I did it, I just felt like I screwed up a normal air reverse. I didn't realize I got so inverted and the board sort of did all of what it did and I didn't realize I was, I didn't realize I was so detached from the board. Yeah. I thought it was right there under my feet. As I grabbed and held on, my knees smashed into both sort of rails right ahead of the deck mm. pad and completely like almost blew the rails out of both sides of the board and almost broke the board in half. Yeah. But then I realized I landed hard and perfectly on a plane and I just kind of like got back off my knees onto my feet. And I realized I was in the white water and I go, it might almost look like I didn't land like that, you yeah. know? In my head I was just kind of laughing about that I was even still on the wave and that I landed so square on the board in some way. But then I was just kind of goofing around and then I just did the 360 and I almost fell there, I kind of dug my nose and then I did like a, a turn that was a little bit, I was a little too weighted forward and I got a little stuck, but then I did a, sort of a nice clean finishing turn. You've got to remember this is the top 34 in the world. This is the best surfers in the world. and they have to complete these manoeuvres. Now, if you do the most amazing aerial in the world or the world's ever seen, I'm not saying that one is, but, and you land on your belly, it's an incomplete manoeuvre. Everyone has to understand it's an incomplete manoeuvre. It's worth nothing. And the surfers know all that. There's no dissension amongst the athletes about that score, guarantee. I understand where people are so excited and amazed and, and feel a little bit let down because it was, a, it was an amazing spectacle. In small waves, you know, it's all about precision. It's all about like greasing things, like making them as smooth as possible, flowing between things without a, a glitch. You know, I'm the, I'm the competitor. I'm the one who has to wear the brunt of that being a good or a bad score. And um, I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. I, I don't know why so many people are, to be honest with you. Let's take a look. Taking off, I'm a little behind you. I'm trying to catch up. I'm eyeing it right there. And then the, I still look at it and go, how did the board do that? <laughs> that happened in two seconds yeah. or less. Yeah. All I really remember was hitting my knees really hard, both my knees at the same time, and, and holding onto my board, and I was like, wow, I can't believe my board's planing, and I just went, I'm back up, and I was like, well, there's so much white water around me, it might look like I didn't even ever fall. <laughs> how does it look? You don't know how it looks when you're doing it. I saw that his board, his knees went through either side of his rails, and then it pushed him down further, so he was so close, and, and if if he'd landed on his feet, oh my goodness, it's an obvious, you know, you, you don't see that thing every day of the week, if at all, and, and the score would have been no problem, there's a 10 point ride.